Jamie Banks. Oh, that's a big question. Well, I was um, raised in, a, in an all-white family, uh, and because uh, my father, to be honest, who was from the Philippines, um, sort of left my mother before I was born. He must have known what was coming. And uh, yeah, uh, so my grandmother and aunts and uncles and cousins and, and obviously my mother were completely white and I was this little Asian guy and my family were, you know, they weren't completely clued up on genetics and stuff and they were wondering what's, what's he going to look like, you know, is he going to be this red haired blue eyed Chinaman or what because you know my mum had red hair and blue eyes and, and um, so they were all sort of peering around to see what I would be like and and I think they're a little bit disappointed. But I do have this one red whisker that comes out and one red hair as well. It's, it's, genetics is a wonderful thing. This is in New Plymouth? Yes, it is, yeah. And of course, in New Plymouth, there are hardly any people of Asian descent there. So I was, you know, called all sorts of names at school. And it was very confusing because I felt white, completely white on the inside. And yet, yeah, people viewed me as this Chinese guy. I actually noticed on the way up here, I heard people muttering and I heard some people saying, oh, look at that young half-white man up there. And I heard other people saying, oh, look at that old Asian fella up there. So automatically I was, I was exposed to racism from a young age and it didn't really bother me, uh, to be honest, but I, I felt something was a bit weird there. And so then at some point in your life you became um, aware of the Baha'i faith. Yes, yeah, so I was at um, uh, Spotswood College in New Plymouth and there was a teacher who uh, was a Baha'i there, a very, very inspirational guy by the name of Mervyn Chivers. And uh, he had Baha'i club at school and he was the only Baha'i, sorry, the only teacher who allowed students into his classroom at lunch times. All the other teachers kicked the students out because they didn't want their rooms to be messed up and so on. But the only exception he had to that was on Tuesdays for Baha'i club at school. And I was very, very anti-religion, I must say. And um, I thought it was a crutch and stuff like, you know, the usual cliches that, that you hear. And, uh, but on one particular Baha'i Club day, it was really, really cold outside. And as you can see, I don't have a lot of meat on me. And I wasn't looking forward to going out and sitting in the cold. So I decided I'd just try it. And I'd, I'd much rather be next to the heater and put up with a bit of religious talk than go outside. So I tried it and I was just really blown away about uh, the basic teachings of the Baha'i Faith and they all made sense to me whereas the things in, in a lot of other perhaps uh, religions didn't quite add up to me and I just, uh, it was a real shock um, that religion could be beautiful, it could make sense and um, be relevant to today. Mm -hmm.